Hello all, welcome to math to go Today we are looking into sequences and limits and we are given the following sequence a n equals root of n plus 3 minus root of n and we are asking ourselves what is the limit of a n? So just as a short reminder we have the following rule just the binomial equation a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared. So this is re really useful and we are going to use it here right now. So a n equals root of n plus 3 minus root of n. And you can think here of a and b for these terms. And then we can apply the rule where we are putting a plus b, so this fa first factor here, to the other side. So we are dividing by a plus b, like this. And then we can apply this equation here right now to become, to get n plus 3 squared minus root of n squared over root of n plus 3 plus root of n. And we can simplify this much further. So we have here cancellation of root and square to n plus 3 and then the same here minus n. And then the denominator becomes so it remains the same it's just root of n plus 3 plus root of n and then we can cancel out this n here so we have just 3 over n plus 3 the root of this and then plus the root of n <coughs> so this was just an application of this equation here and then we cancel out everything we can so the root with the square and then also here n plus n with, with minus n so this is what we get finally so this is exactly the same as a n we just reformulated it so now what can we do we can observe that um, the first term here n plus 3 and the root of this is bigger than minus n and the root of it so this is always positive what we have here so this is always bigger or equal so actually always bigger than than zero so this is also a very useful observation. For this reason, the limit is also always bigger or equal than zero. So we can observe here, zero is smaller or equal the limit of a n, where n tends to infinity. And this is exactly the limit where n tends to infinity of this term here. So then we have three over n plus three root plus root of n and then we can estimate it to something bigger so then we have again limit where n tends to infinity of 3 over so let's forget about this first term here in the denominator um, because both of them are positive the whole term becomes bigger if we cancel out this one so, so if we just leave it out then we have here 3 over root of n and this is bigger than the term before and we can see here clearly that this tends to infinity if n tends to infinity so the whole term becomes so tends to zero in that case so the limit of this term is zero what we have here now is the following chain of implications we have zero smaller or equal than the limit of a n where n tends to infinity and this is smaller or equal, we have it here, than zero. So we, it follows that the limit where n tends to infinity of a n is exactly zero. So I hope this video was useful to you. If yes, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this. Thank you.